In gaming, victory is measured in milliseconds. NVIDIA Reflex provides a competitive edge, combining both GPU and game optimizations to dynamically reduce system latency. Game developers can now implement a low latency mode that aligns game engine work to complete just in time for rendering. This eliminates the GPU render queue and reduces CPU back pressure in GPU bound scenarios. Reflex is now available in Unreal Engine 4, enabling developers to reduce latency efficiently and easily in their titles. Some of the biggest Unreal Engine titles in the world, such as Fortnite and Valorant, are taking advantage of Reflex. It's ideal for any scenario where you need lower latency. Check out these titles and developers who are already using Reflex today. To use Reflex in the Unreal Engine, you'll need Unreal Engine 4.27.2. The latest Reflex plugin is built into this release and also available in the NVIDIA branch of Unreal Engine. Go to Plugins and search for Reflex or NVIDIA. Either search will find it. Enable the plugin and restart your project. Now that you've restarted the engine and the plugin is enabled, you can activate Reflex with Blueprint scripts. As a simple example, load up your level Blueprint scripting window and create a Begin Play node. Then, drag off a connection and do a search for Reflex in the Blueprint menu. This will find all of your Reflex functions. There are two Set functions and a number of Get functions. The Get functions can be used to test whether you're on a Reflex-capable GPU. And by doing that simple test, you can set Reflex to be active. So we've created a set reflex mode function, and we set it to the standard enabled. I'm also going to create a set flash indicator enabled and check the enabled button so that I can easily measure latency with Reflex Analyzer to make sure Reflex is working. For safety's sake, it's important to test if the end user is on a Reflex capable GPU. You can do this quite simply by putting in some branch logic. Add a branch node at the start of begin play before your set functions. Drag off the condition link and search for Reflex and select the get reflex available function. This will test if the end user has the right GPU and if their drivers and other details are up to date. If it passes, then it's true, and we can set the reflex mode on. Compile and save, and now we can run the level in-game and see reflex working. You'll notice that reflex has a couple of options in its usage, and can be set to either reflex mode on or reflex plus boost. Boost mode will attempt to reduce latency as much as possible, but can use a little more GPU power. We recommend that when you implement Reflex, you set the default as the standard on to give your users a great baseline experience, much as the same way Valorant has implemented Reflex for their game. Flash Indicator is good for measuring end-to-end -end latency with an LDAT or Reflex Analyzer device, while the software stats in the Reflex SDK can quickly help you determine if Reflex is working. Remember to be GPU bound. Thank you for your interest in the NVIDIA Reflex plugin for Unreal Engine. As you can see, it's easy to implement and set up. Reflex offers impressive benefits for any NVIDIA gamer who wants to lower latency. And in a multiplayer game, we all want that competitive edge. As a developer, you can get started with the Reflex plugin today in Unreal Engine 4.27.2 and up.